The White House is once again taking aim at immigration reform, this time by focusing on an aspect of illegal immigration. The RAISE Act is a merit-based system for green card applicants. It would favor applicants who can speak English, financially support themselves, and demonstrate skills that will contribute to the economy. But immigrants' rights groups are against it. It's a, a good idea for us to bring in skilled workers, but it's, a, it's apparently a move away from the family values of having, uh, using immigration to uh, unite families. The RAISE Act would also cut the number of refugees admitted each year from 110,000 to just 50,000. The bill's sponsor believes it will get bipartisan support, but it's unclear if it will get enough to become law. But immigration is always a polarizing issue. The reaction to Washington's latest proposal is once again divided. Our political editor, Dennis Welch, gets reaction tonight from leaders right here in Arizona. It's great to be here today to unveil legislation that would represent the most significant reform to our immigration system in a half a century. President Trump throwing his weight behind legislation to drastically cut the number of legal immigrants entering the country. You know, I think the RAISE Act is the exact right direction our country should be taking. Republican candidate for Senate Kelly Ward is on board with the bill that seeks to slash legal immigration by 50 percent and prioritize high-skilled over low-skilled workers. It's going to modernize and, and make our immigration system much smarter. That's a horrible idea. As a matter of fact, we need to increase legal immigration Arizona Congressman Ruben Gallego. If you actually diminish legal immigration, you're just going to encourage illegal immigration, and you're going to only empower cartels and human smugglers. The bill will have a hard time passing out of the Senate, and Gallego believes the president is trying to change the conversation back to immigration after a health care defeat last week. He's doing it because the legislative agenda of uh, President Trump is going nowhere. Now, again, this bill really does face an uphill battle before it becomes law. It's going to need 60 votes in the Senate. That's highly unlikely right now. And Republicans are going to feel a lot of pressure from business groups who oppose this bill. Um, for example, the Phoenix Chamber of Commerce already issued a statement saying that they do not support this piece of legislation. And just a few minutes ago, we heard from Senator Jeff Flake. He put out a press release saying that he has a lot of concerns with this piece of legislation. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, CBS 5 News. Okay, Dennis.